thank you very, very much. So generally, there are a few reactions to change. What? We're going to go through that again? Oh, no. Oh. Usually, not a good thing. There's an art to letting go. Letting go is something we all have to do, and it's something that it provides us an ease and flow in our lives, but it can be very, very difficult. So, how many people here have had a change coming about? And how many people here are, yay, change! <laughs> Not very many hands are coming up right now. Okay, I see a couple. When we're in that mode, the two of you that raise your hands, Paul and Jim. Jim, what happens? You're in a flow, right? Things are snapping along. Things are easy. Maybe you're happier. It doesn't seem like you're lifting a heavy burden. But for the rest of us that didn't raise our hands, that didn't have that feeling when change is coming about, we're stressed. We're worried. We're wondering, trying to figure something out. So what can we do about it? Can we change the change? No. That train, once, it's, once it has departed, it's going and you're along for the ride. So, there are three steps that I've outlined that allow us to let go. First off, I want to point out that you don't have to be superhuman to do this. You don't have to have everything figured out. And no matter where you are, it's okay. Maybe you're this person. You can't even imagine this change. You can't figure it out. You're like, I don't want it to happen. You're really, really resisting. Guess what? There's no heavy lifting required. If you're in this position, simply visualize yourself having experienced the change already. Just visualize it. Something good is on the outside of that. Example. Not very many women will go through this change of cutting <laughs> off, <laughs> buzzing three-fourths of their hair. For me, it's empowering. Mm -hmm. It's liberating. I can be kind of conservative if I want, or I can be, <laughs> okay, those things excite me. So visualizing the aftermath of the change is invigorating. It provides peace. It provides a way to feel that positivity is on the other side of that, power is on the other side of that. And that feels good. And that allows us to enact the change. No heavy lifting required. Mm -hmm. This is magnificent because the last thing we want to feel when we're in that moment where we can't even imagine something is trying to figure it out. So step one is just visualize your change. You might be this person. You might be someone who, you're starting to get warmed up to this change, whatever it may be, but you're not fully acting, acting it out yet. What do you do? Choose the easy thing first. Choose the easy thing first. What does this mean? Okay, well, I think we've all had that feeling where, you know what, that relationship, let's, let's wrap it up, right? But. We're not breaking up yet. We're not letting go yet. So, maybe don't force yourself to let fully go. Maybe cut down on the amount of dates. Maybe stop picking up the phone every time. <laughs> Just what can you handle? 
what feels good. So for me, sometimes, I'll admit, I get into that really cool Netflix groove where I just can't get out of the sofa and I'm just watching a series back to back. <laughs> well, I was able to visualize and able to say, well, what can I do? I don't want to not watch Friends. <laughs> so I'm going to watch two episodes of Friends and then maybe I'm going to get on my bike and you know, go for a ride. This helps us. Now this last one, guys, this last one is really, it's the most powerful, it's the fast track, but I have to tell you that it's the toughest. It's not for the faint of heart. <laughs> this last one is, go for it. You sneezed on the truth, bless you. <laughs> Just go for it. You feel the change, enact it. Trust your gut because you can do it. Whatever it is that is compelling you, to make that change, let go and go forth. Embrace your power. These are three steps to letting go. And letting go allows us to embrace change, embrace our power, and step into whatever it is we want. With grace, with ease, and maybe a little bit of weird style. <laughs> Thank you all very, very much.